built-in template. When you just launch the PowerPoint application, a window full of numerous built-in templates opens up. Template means an example based on which several lower forms can be created and worked on. Now you can see some of the templates from the figure. You can also see the names of the templates with the templates. Choosing one of these templates will give a similar background for all slides of the respective presentation. For teaching, we will pick the mask. There are four variants to this template. Let's choose green colored variant. Clicking on create gets us to our presentation. The title slide, which is what the first slide of a presentation, gives contains two text boxes. You are supposed to just enter the title of the presentation and subtitle or name of presenter or conceiver. Enhancing the look of a presentation There are many ways to enhance the look of a presentation. There are many formatting options using which the text part of the presentation can be made to look really great. In MS PowerPoint, you can also format the text by using the font group. The various options available in the font group are as follows. Commands Description Font this drop-down contains a list of fonts to change the font of the text. Font Size By using this button, you can select various sizes for the text. Increase Font Size This is used to enlarge the text. Decrease Font Size This is used to decrease the size of the text. Bold Button this increases the thickness of the text to make it dark. Italic button. This tilts the text. Underline button. This inserts a line below the text. Font color button. This is used to change the color of the text. Let us see the example given. You should try to modify this slide. You can see a difference between the two slides. The change took place because the four points were selected. The font command, part of home tab, was changed to Algerian, a better looking font. You should really experiment with these fonts. They go a great way in enhancing the text, as also are the other font group commands. Of course, the presentation can be greatly made better by inserting pictures. Inserting pictures Follow these steps to insert a picture on a slide. With the slide on which you want to insert the picture as active, click on Insert Pictures. An Insert Picture dialog box opens. You may browse on the left pane and choose the file from the right pane. After doing the above step, just click on Insert. The picture will be inserted. With the above steps, the picture will be inserted into the slide. You may have to resize the picture to use it on a slide. Using corner or side handles on the picture, you can increase or reduce the size of the picture. You can see above the size of image is being reduced slowly. Another way to enhance beauty of slides is by changing the paragraph spacing. Paragraph spacing in order to increase or reduce the paragraph spacing, follow these steps. Select the entire set of text you want treated as paragraph. Go to Line Spacing command in Paragraph group of Home tab. Click on it. 
a set of line spacing options shows up. Choose any one and leave it at that. Modifying themes. Themes can be modified by using variants. The variants feature is used to change the appearance of the theme. It has different color schemes, fonts, effects, and background styles. The steps to change the themes are as follows. Select the slide whose theme you want to change. Click the Design tab. Click on drop-down arrow of the variants. A list of options appears. Click the Colors option. A list of colors palette will appear. Select the required theme color. The changes will be applied on all the slides of a presentation. Since the background is so crucial to PowerPoint, there are some ways to modify your chosen background color. Go to Format Background Tool, part of the Design tab, rightmost of the tab. Gradient Fill means gradually getting filled with color. Pattern Fill selects a pattern from color of your slide and repeats it all over the slide.